Hi guys, I want to record this video to answer a question about how, how can I control uh, where I want to apply lens effects. And for example, in this example, I would like to apply lens effects only on the green light and do not have any lens effects at all on the red light. So um, if I enable the lens effects panel and click on the bloom and glare you will see that I will have bloom everywhere in all all my my lights so I don't want to do that I just want to have uh, bloom in in the green light so if I enable the glare also you will see that I will have glare on both lights red and and green and i would like to have only on the green lights so to do that we have a couple options unfortunately one of them is not working properly because we don't have a way to assign numbers in terms of material ids but we could add object id and they work exactly in the same way um, object id sorry so what I'm going to do is I will assign an object ID of 1 to the green light and then um, set up my object ID to render um, IDs 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the green lights that I already have in, in, a, groups, in a group and I would like to go to my uh, properties, V-Ray properties, and then I would like to assign ID 1 to those lights. Okay, so if I want to be sure that I have that light set up with ID1, I'm going to just set ID1 here and select, and you will see that the green lights are selected. So that's mean that all the geometry that I have selected have an object ID of 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable my object ID. Enable for, I have to enable first the balloon and enable object ID and set that to 1. If you want also glare to the same object IDs, then you have to enable the glare, object IDs, and set that to 1 as well. Um, the, when, you, when you add one of these glare mask property, V-Ray will add a mask here in the frame, in the, uh, frame buffer. Because we uh, do not have that mask already here we have to re-render the file again so i'm going to re-render the model the scene and after the render done you will see that we are going to be able to control where we want to have glare based on that mask based on the object ids of the of geometry i'm going to pause the video and wait for the final render okay the render almost done and I will show you how this, this guy works now. You will see now only the green lights with the lens effect. Let's wait for this final bucket to render. And boom, just the green lights have the lens effects. Um, if you click on the frame buffer, notice the bloom mask is only on the green lights. And also the glare mask is only on the green lights. So that means that we are going to create lens effects only on the white area or the of those masks. Therefore, the the green light have the effects and the red light doesn't have any effect. So if I disable the glare just to have blown, notice that only the green light still have the effects. Okay, so I just can mess with these effects and only the green light. However, if I disable the object ID, then I will produce um, bloom on everything. But if I enable it, then it's only on the green lights. Same happen. So if I um, enable the clear effect and only um, and disable the object ID, you will see that now we have clear everywhere but with the object ID enable we are going to have only clear on the green lights so this is the way that we have in v River Rhino to control the lens effects using 
uh, object ID and glare mask and bloom mask. Uh, 